Hey there everybody, this is Destroyer X, and I'm taking a brief break from my Let's Play of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars to bring you a new Let's Play that I started, well, today. This game, for those who are not aware, if you, haven't, if you can't tell by the title that's on YouTube, is called Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. It is an enhanced... An enhanced uh, version of Sonic Adventure that was released on the Nintendo GameCube. Um, for the most part, as far as Sonic Adventure goes, it was released on December 23rd, 1998 in Japan for the Sega Dreamcast. The final version, which was known as Sonic, it, Sonic Adventure International, which in North America it was just called Sonic Adventure. It was released as a launch title for the Sega Dreamcast on September 9th, 1999. According to Wikipedia, it has sold over 2.5 million copies, making it the best-selling Dreamcast game. The uh, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut was released for the Nintendo GameCube on to, in 2003, and it was also released in 2004 for Windows. The game was also ported to Xbox Live on September 15, 2010, and PlayStation Network on September 20, 2010. The game was featured on Dreamcast Collection, a four-game bundle released for Xbox 360 in 2011. Yes, I'm reading all this from you from Wikipedia because, well, some of this information I do not know from memory. Um, for the most part, um. Do -do 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 -do. I'm trying to think of something else. Um, this is an enhanced remake. Not enhanced remake. This is an enhanced version port. Uh, an enhanced port of the Sega Dreamcast version, which was released. Um, it features enhanced polygons for the, all the characters, all the character models in the game, and the frame rate has been increased to. From 60, from 30 frames a second to 60 frames per second. And this is actually the very first game that I'm going to be recording in 60 frames per second throughout the entire Let's Play. I don't know what YouTube's going to do with it whenever it's done, but I'm assuming it's going to keep, keep the 60 frames per second. If so, then you're going to notice how smooth the game is compared to 30 frames per second. Here in a moment, as soon as I select something, because I'm doing this post-production and I'm taking forever doing this in post and whatnot. Uh, let's see. There are several characters that you can play as throughout the entire game. Which I'll show here in just a moment if, the, if I ever press the button to do so. Character. The characters that you can play as are Sonic the Hedgehog, Miles Tails Prowler, Knuckles the Echidna, Amy Rose, Big the Cat, and E-102 Gamma. All the characters except for Sonic are locked at the beginning of the game, and in order to unlock them, you have to encounter them during the storyline. And here's Station Square. Station Square is one of three Adventure Field hub areas in the game, which the first one is that you are you, you're exposed to is Station Square. The second one you're exposed to is called Mystic Ruins, which is by far the largest hub area. And the third area is called the Egg Carrier, but I'll get into those more later. And who's that person that's dashing on buildings? Oh yes, that's Sonic the Hedgehog! It's trouble! Go! Go! Go after them! Follow them! You can do it! You are completely surrounded! Surrender yourself! Lock on target, man! Ready? Fire! 
Somehow I have a feeling that will not work at all. Nope, didn't think so. And with that, it is boss battle time! This is Chaos Zero! Chaos Zero is incredibly weak. Three hits will do it in and... Well, I won't be able to show off too many of its attacks. There's me trying to show it off, but I hit it in, again quite pretty quickly. For the third phase, Chaos Zero will hop on the flagpoles. Eventually, it will get to the point where it will lunge its arm at us. And when you do that, just get out of the way, and it comes down, you hit it again, and that's the end of the battle. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. On your big drip. Where you going? I'm getting away from you. You know nothing, fool. It's Chaos, the god of destruction. <laughs> you look vaguely familiar. Who is that? By the way, I'm keeping in all the loading screens. The loading screens themselves, they aren't very long on the GameCube, and I don't feel like editing those out. So, they're going to stay in. Huh? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Tails! Ah, what am I gonna do with you? Notice how Sonic just jumps over the pool. That's because Sonic can't swim. And here we are at Emerald Coast. This is the very first stage of the game. The only thing, the only objective that we have is to get to the end of the stage and rescue Tails. Which, this is the obligatory um, beach slash beach slash green area of the game. Which, well, many Sonic games start out in the green, lush area and whatnot. Um, this stage is going to go by pretty quickly. It's going to go by in about in a little bit under two and a half minutes because I, a few years back, I found out a way to make the stage go by very quickly. And I'm being chased by Shamu. Oh no! Eee! Oh no! Sushi! Woo! I know there are people that can do this much faster than me. Um, this is the first time I played this game in a few months, so I'm a bit out of practice. There's actually more to this stage that I'm about ready that I'm actually showing in the video, but. I bypassed the vast majority of the stage because of a few shortcuts and some other tips. So if you want to bypass a good portion of the stage, do what I'm doing because I am not going to redo the I'm not going to shoot the video again and show the actual correct way to go through the um, stage. A 
And believe it or not, we're almost done with this stage right now. Let's just go through the last area right here. And... Spin dash a few more times. And we made it to Tails. Yay! Yeah, not bad. And there we go, we get an emblem. Um, those can be explained in another LP because I am not going to explain them. I would recommend that if you want to know all about this game in terms of the nifty features that it has, I would recommend that you check out Clement J642's channel. He's known as He's known as the Great Clement. He did an awesome LP of this game. I would just recommend you check this out. Check his videos out because it's a lot better than mine. A few bugs. Like he's never seen one of those before. Yes, I know they have a little bit of power. Which, if we have one emerald, we can easily solve the world's energy problems. And you're gonna squander it on a plane. No, it's not. The fastest way is for me to run there. That's the fastest way to get there, and yet I'm forced to take the train. And at this point, we unlock Tails, and we can play as him whenever we get around to playing as him. Um, I will do that after the Sonic storyline is done, but for now, we're playing as Sonic. And to get to Mr. Grins, we go into the train station, go up the stairs right here, and get into the train, and we're off to the Mystic Ruins. Mystic Ruins is another adventure hub area, and it's by far the largest hub area in the entire game. It connect. There are many. It connects this area to many other levels, which I don't remember off the top of my head, which is why I'm watching this as I'm reviewing. And here we go. <laughs> Cutscene. Sonic. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I've got speak that! And now, I'm gonna put them to work! You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds! Never not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! And with that, Eggman attaches a well. Well, he attaches a something to his Eggmobile, which is called the Egg Hornet. And that is our next boss battle. The Egg Hornets are incredibly easy. Um, I'm going to spoil it right now. You just homie once. You, once you get it gets into a certain position, then you just homie attack it several times, and the Egg Hornet goes down. So, I'm going to talk about the voice actors. Um, the voice actor for Sonic is actually a comedian by the name of Ryan Drummond. He is, by the way, he is not related to the Canadian voice actor Brian Drummond, who voiced Vegeta in the Ocean Studios um, um, the dub of Dragon Ball Z. Um, the person who actually voices Eggman is Dean Bristow. I'm sure he's he's been in other games. I don't remember which one he what all game what what games he's in, but he's most famous for being the voice of Doctor Eggman. More plot coming at ya. What a cartoony sound effect! Boink, boink, boink. Well, that wasn't so hard. Oh no! Who didn't see that coming? Come on, Chaos! Time to eat! Chaos? Oh no! 
Oh, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Oh, yes! It's just that the stone tablets predicted. <laughs> His strength increases every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me. Together, we'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land. That is an incredibly stupid name for a city. But then again, in the Japanese version, he's going to call it Eggman Land, which is just as stupid. Now, how did he get away so fast? Sonic! We can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails! Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform! So, it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? No, we're just gonna let the National Guard deal with it. After all, they're... Yeah, I mean, they're completely prepared to deal with Dr. Eggman. Anyway, we go up to Tails' workshop, and we are going to pick up a particular item. This is the Windstone. It looks like a key. The design must mean something. It means that it's a plot device. That's what it means. Um, we don't go this way. I didn't... It's been a while, a few months since I played, so I didn't remember exactly where it goes. So, do what I'm doing right now, and you'll fi figure out exactly where to place the windstone. Go into this cave right here. Drop it. The key will float. It'll go into position. And you just jump into that nice hole right there. The pr the and you go into Windy Valley. I will mention, though, that I do not edit out my deaths. <clears throat> the reason being is because, well, I'm human, humans make mistakes. And as such, I make quite a few mistakes during the Sonic playthrough. However, what, the main reason why I leave the deaths in is because, well, I really don't want to go through and edit out all my deaths. So, they're g I'm just going to leave them in. But hey, I'm not, I didn't say anything about me being an expert at this game, because I'm not. There are a lot of people at the, that are better at me at this game than I am, so... Yeah. Okay, for those who are unaware, Dr. Ro Robotnik, his name in the Japanese versions of any Sonic game up until Sonic Adventure was Dr. Eggman. It still is Dr. Eggman, actually. Um, the United States version of uh, the, the English versions of the video games, they tend to call Dr. Eggman Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Um, there are some, there's some speculation as to why they changed the name because um, there's the um, there's a Beatles song that's called I Am The Walrus, I think that's what it's called. And some of the lyrics are, I am the Eggman! They are the Eggman! Or something like that. Um, it's because, it's, it's assumed that because of that, they changed the name of Dr. Eggman into the pun-like name of Dr. Robotnik. But effective Sonic Adventure 2, they stopped calling they pretty much stopped calling him Dr. Robotnik, and they just call him Dr. Eggman. However, the Japanese version of Sonic Adventure 2, they officially acknowledge Dr. Ivor Robotnik as his real name, and that Dr. Eggman is just a nickname. And what you're listening to now, assuming if you can hear it, is the remix version of Green Grove Zone Act 1 from the Sega Genesis version of Sonic 3D Blast. So... This is awesome. Um, the person who worked, who was, who did the music for Sonic 3D Blast, I mean the Genesis version, his name is Young Yun Sano. Sano, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, 
He also did the music for this game as well, so that's probably one of the reasons why you hear this particular track in the game anyway. Uh, this stage isn't too, too hard. You just do what I'm doing. I wish I could explain it better, but I don't do live Let's Plays. Um, they're all post-production, so just do what I'm doing. <laughs> um, the video is about ready to wrap up because this is a 21-minute video. So if you like the video so far, please like the video on YouTube. If you want to subscribe to my channel, YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, I mean, if you have any questions, comments, if you have any suggestions on how I can make the Let's Plays a lot better, please feel free to leave comments. I will read every single comment, and if I don't get, I'll try to respond, but if I don't, then, yes. well, I don't. Anyway, um, I'll see you all in part two. Ciao for now, everybody. Take care. Bye. Not bad.